Hey, first grade. Today, you're going to get back your James Rizzi drawing. Last time we painted the sky. Today, we're going to add color to the buildings. You also need to get one messy paper and one paintbrush. We need to make sure that paintbrush or that messy paper goes under our painting so we don't get paint all over the table. And today, we are going to use liquid watercolors. We use these in kindergarten. All you have to do is dip your paintbrush into the color and start painting. And I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. All right, I know that some of them kind of look similar, so ask me if you're not sure what color it is. Please be careful with them. They can spill very easily. We're going to be doing a rainbow across our paper with the buildings. So that means some of your buildings are going to be painted different colors than mine. All right, so you might have had a building way off to the edge over here with a face on it. That one might get painted red. You can see that mine in the background is actually going to be my first color of the rainbow. So I'm going to go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. All right, it might get kind of tricky if you have some of these in the background that are kind of in the middle. So you're going to have to make that decision, but it should look like a rainbow going across my paper. Getting a little bit of red on my brush. This paint likes to drip, so you'll actually see me when I use it. I actually give it just a little wipe on the edge of the cup, right? Wipe on the edge of the cup to make sure I don't have any dripping on my paper. And I'm using the toes of my brush. Back and forth, not scrubbing. Finish with red. Now I need to wash out my brush. I'm going to tap, tap, tap it on the bottom. Give it a little wipe so you don't have that water on your brush. Now I can use orange. This building has some windows and a face and some eyes and a mouth on it. So what you are going to do is you're going to paint around those things. We'll come back then at the end of the day and finish those up. Be careful not to get your paintbrush in the black or the blue depending on what color you did your sky. After orange comes yellow, giving it a wipe on the edge of the paint cup so I don't drip. After yellow comes green, that's going to be the one in the background back here. Careful not to mix them. We've got blue over here. I'm going to be extra careful around that background sky as if that black or the blue gets wet in your sky, it will smear into your colors and we don't want that. And I got one last building. After you finish painting that beautiful rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, you need to come in and you can paint the mouths if you want. You can also paint the windows if you would like. To make the windows look like they have a light on, I might just take a little bit of yellow and paint some yellow in there. Like that. I'm going to paint the mouth red. Careful to stay in the lines. Same as this mouth over here, he needs a little bit of red. I'm not going to paint the teeth, those are going to stay white. If you want to add a little bit of color to the eyes, you may. You might be wondering, what do I do about these windows on my yellow building? Because I just painted these windows yellow, they'd blend in. I think I'm going to paint them blue, just to make it look like the light is off. Like it's dark in there. You can do the same on these ones too if you'd like. Maybe a couple that are on. All right, when you are this far, you are all finished. You need to get this all done today. Start by painting your rainbow, then come back in and paint the mouth and the windows. That gives the buildings a little bit of time to dry. These go at the bottom of the drying rack as low as they can go when you are finished. Please put your brush in the dirty brush bin.